What's up guys? Today I'm doing another first impression. I'm going to be reviewing the Caruso steamroller set that I found at Sally's Beauty Supply. I used to love hot rollers and the great thing about steamrollers are that they're supposedly similar to hot rollers but they're more gentle in the hair because it's steam. So some of the features that they boast on this box are that it steam conditions as it curls the hair. It's rated number one by professional stylists. The curls supposedly last for days. Now I don't know if they've ever encountered natural hair, but we shall see. They say it's for all hair types. This box comes with 30 rollers. It says it's great for, for travel and it comes with a carrying case. So sounds really great. There's a lot of stuff in this box. So you have your steaming base. So this is where the steamroller sits on top. You have to fill it with water. I hope this is not too bright. I feel like if it's too bright, I'm sorry. It comes with a carrying case. That's nice. Then of course you have your 30 rollers here. So you have four different sizes, six small rollers, six medium rollers, 12 large rollers, six jumbo. These are the different sizes and there's 30 in total. Lots of rollers on my desk right now. I don't know if the 30 rollers is gonna be enough, but what I really liked about this Caruso steam roller set is that they sell the rollers individually. How cool is that? So if you have a ton of hair or you need more rollers for whatever reason, maybe you lost them, maybe they broke, you can just go and buy individual refill packs. I don't know a lot of hot roller sets that do that, so I thought that was really cool. So I went ahead and I just bought two backup roller sets and they come with six rollers each and they're the jumbo size. Comes with an instruction booklet. You have, of course, all of your normal warnings, you know, don't plug it into water, don't step on it, don't eat it. It comes with this chart here that shows you how long to keep your roller steaming. Depending on the thickness of your hair, I guess you want your roller to be more wet or less wet. They give you like tons of different ways that you can roll it. It gives you styling options for short length hair, medium length hair, tons of different hairstyles that you can do using the rollers. African American specific hairstyles we like we get a whole page that's awesome elegant evening hairstyles and yeah it's pretty much it for the booklet so i'm going to start first thing i have to do it says is unplug the unit when filling lift off the steamer top and fill it to the water level line so i'm going to go fill this thing with water and i'll be right back so I filled this up to the water line inside. Now I'm going to plug it in. I wonder if I'm gonna to need to have to refill the water after a while. I don't know, it seems very small. It's kind of nice that it's small though because then you can like travel with it well. But actually started steaming up really fast. It's been like maybe 30 seconds and you can see Wow, that's a lot of steam rising. So you wanna prepare your hair, I guess, before you get started because these rollers are only supposed to sit on the steamer for like a couple of seconds. So I already detangled like all of my hair. I spritzed it with a little bit of moisture and then I sealed it with my homemade shea butter cream. It's been a while, so it's nice and dry. I didn't wanna like roll these on wet hair because I just, I want to make sure that the rollers dry completely. So I'm gonna start um, rolling it. So I'm gonna grab a section of hair, it's probably good. I don't freaking know what I'm doing, girl. Unit will begin to steam within approximately one minute, which it did less than a minute. After suctioning the hair for the first roller, place roller onto the roller post following the steaming time guidelines. Roll the steam infused roller onto the sectioned hair and then apply the clip to the scalp. Okay. The steam guide says, to keep it on for seven to nine seconds. So I'm gonna take off my little steam guard here and I have my roller. It has a little hole on the bottom. I'm going to place it over the steaming thing and I'm gonna to count to seven seconds. Why am I nervous? I'm freaking out, here we go. Why am I so freaking nervous? Oh, I don't want my hair to get messed up. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven! And then I'm gonna roll. I don't know, that doesn't seem like it's hot enough to roll my hair, but we'll see. It's kind of weird. I don't trust, I don't think this is gonna roll my hair. This doesn't seem right. I'm gonna place my steam guard here. That was easy. All right, I'm gonna do it again. This is fun, guys. Ooh, having fun with your natural hair, girl. Uh, 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 do it up, do it up, do it up. Okay, I'm gonna take another section. I'm gonna grab my jumbo jumbo. Ah, son of a gun. I'm gonna do 
nine seconds. One, two, three, eight, nine. And then I have to quickly. This is so weird. I don't know, it just it's not very hot. So I mean if this curls my hair, I'm gonna be really surprised. If it curls my hair, that'd be awesome because it's really not hot at all. So I know it's not gonna be like super damaging like I guess a hot roller would be, but just don't believe it. So just don't believe it. This is really easy though, I have to say. Definitely helps to have your hair already detangled so that you can just go, go, go. One, two, three, eight, nine. Woohoo! I wonder if my sections are too big too. I'm rolling them upwards just because it's easier. I'm actually gonna make my sections a little bit smaller. I will have enough rollers, I think. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, oh, nine. Yeah. Okay, I feel it's kind of warm in there actually. Yeah. Seven, eight, Nine, ten. I don't know, I feel like natural hair can be, um, especially my texture, can be really difficult to set. So, I mean, but this thing boasts that it's good for all hair types, so we will see if that's true. We'll see. All right, so I did that first half of my head and now I'm gonna go and do this side. All right, so I just finished my entire head and I have to say that was really easy. If this works out, I would totally do this again because it was just so easy and fun. Also, I wanna mention that this little guy is still going strong. I seriously can't believe that it didn't run out of water. It's so tiny, but it's still going. So it lasted through that entire session of me rolling my hair, which only took about 15 minutes like it didn't take long at all. I ended up having a couple of large rollers left over all of my small rollers I didn't use any of those a couple of my medium rollers left over I ended up opening one of my box of backups and I used all six of these rollers I'm gonna let this sit for the allotted time which is about 10 to 15 minutes So I'm gonna come back in about 15 minutes and we're gonna see how this looks totally lost track of time I was watching YouTube videos it has been 25 minutes so these rollers better have set if they're gonna set they had 25 minutes and the allotted time was 10 to 15 so here we go <laughs> why do i have a tail what is this what is this this is not good that's not good no, that's not what I wanted. I mean, there is a little bit of a curl right there. Ugh, I freaking knew it. I knew it wasn't for naturals. I knew it. Why am I even... No words. There are no words for this. All right, well, you know, it's a first impression. I'm just gonna keep taking them out. They can't all be good. <laughs> they can't all rock your socks off. Oh, my socks are nowhere near being rocked off. I could tell that like, if my hair was a little bit of a sleeker texture, I probably would have had a nice curl. I just don't think the steam was enough. You can tell it is. It, it does its job for finer hair, just not my hair. Maybe the um, smaller rollers where I used, yeah, see, this section was a little bit smaller so I can see a little bit more of a curl coming in but not impressed I'm not impressed I mean this looks nice <laughs> it's not the look that I was going for but it looks nice my hair feels nice and moisturized but it's just not curled this is a smaller section okay so that smaller section looks a little better, so there's potential. There's potential here. Yeah, okay. Look at that. Smaller sections do better. I mean, still you can see all my texture just fighting that curl. You just can't tame that natural hair. It's gonna do what it wants. Oh, that one looks good. Look at that. This is a smaller section with a large roller. That looks good, right? It totally wouldn't last throughout the day though. I mean, these things boast long lasting curls, but I can see that frizziness is just about to, look, it's getting frizzy already. 
Took two seconds. <laughs> The last one. So excited. I'm so, I'm so excited to take this one out. Are you kidding me right now? This is BS. Oh, that's great. That's uh, that's exactly what I was going for. This look is what I was going for. Yes. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. That's the stuff. <laughs> Exactly like the box. Exactly. For all hair types. Yep. Mm -hmm. No! No, it's not! I knew it. I could tell while I was rolling that it wasn't gonna work. But I wanted to try it anyway. So! Are we looking like the box yet? Hmm? Okay. So here's the deal it doesn't work on detangled natural hair. From a twist out. It wouldn't work on wet natural hair. It wouldn't work on blow dried natural hair. So the first impression it gets a head. This is not a good product <laughs> for natural hair. But I'm gonna give it another try. For today I'm going to put my hair into a bun and I'm gonna give it a try again. So this will be to be continued. Starting from the back, I'm going to use all the jumbo rollers and then I'm going to get smaller as I move forward and I know that I'm going to need every single one of my rollers today. One thing I am going to add differently today is I'm going to use a hairspray, which is something that I don't ever use. For hold, I usually use flaxseed gel, but I need something that's not going to make my hair wet. I need something that's going to add hold to my hair while keeping it dry. So we're going to do um, this hairspray here, one that's preferably as natural as you can find it. Then I'm going to begin to roll again upwards. I'm going to use um, this rotating wrist motion here to try and set the hair a little bit better. Even though it's a first impression, I feel like sometimes you got to give it, you know, a second chance um, because natural hair is a little bit different and so um, you kind of just got to figure out different methods to use a tool and then kind of gauge how you feel about it. So I did my entire head, let this sit on my hair for 15 minutes and I'll be back. 15 minutes later I'm gonna go ahead and start taking out these rollers and hope for the best. Oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Tried to give them a second chance. First impressions I guess don't lie. This one turned out nice. I'm actually liking how the smaller ones turned out better than the larger ones. Still kind of wet though. The steam doesn't really dry it completely, which is kind of dangerous for natural hair. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, well, it's already starting to get puffier. It's not bad, you know, it's kind of big puffy curls. And, but I have to say today is a lot better than yesterday. So what this proves is that the hair definitely needs to be stretched preferably straightened before doing these steam rollers. I think these are best for like fine, straight to like wavy hair. I'm not sure if this is, um, you know, best for kinky hair or curly hair, unless like you straighten it first. I don't know if that defeats the purpose, but, um, all right, let's talk about the pros. I love that it travels well. It comes with a great instruction manual with different styling tips, as well as a carrying bag. The option to purchase refill rollers is really great for those who have a lot of hair or if you lose them or break them or whatever. The whole process of putting them on the steamer is like kind of just like a fun little project. And I don't know, it was a lot of fun to put in. I love the fact that it's conditioning your hair. So every time I put it on, my hair would come off feeling softer and more moisturized. The cons, obviously, it's steam. And so, you know, when you're mixing natural hair with water or with steam, you're gonna either get one, a really soft set like this, or you're gonna get frizzy hair like yesterday. So I don't think these are like the best for our hair type. Personally, I've received this style, but it looked a lot better just doing a simple bantu knot out 
or um, the perm rod set, the Bantunata and the perm rod set look a lot better and they last longer. So at most, this is a really nice steam treatment to do. But if you have, you know, straight hair or wavy hair, maybe you will like these a lot better. For my hair type, I'm not really feeling this product. It's not something that I can count on that's going to give me a really great hairstyle that's going to last. Overall, it doesn't look bad. I'm just, you know, you do this with a Bantu nut up. Wah, wah. <laughs> So I hope this first impression review helped, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hello. There you go. Ah, I just freaking whipped my hair. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, too many, too many seconds. Where my jumbo at? Where my jumbo? There we go. How do you mess up counting? That's pathetic. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, I'm having so much fun right now. I'm such a dork, I know. I don't know. How is, how is this gonna wrap? I don't believe the hype. Another jumbo jumbo. Brilliant, I tell you. I don't hate it. So, I'm gonna put my hair in a bun.